Hello students, today uh, we are doing class 7 physics, chapter 1, Phys physical quantities and measurement, we are doing part 4 and we will be discussing numerical problems. So the first question we are doing today is calculate the density of solid of mass 20 kg if it occupies a volume of 4 meter cube. So from the question we can see that the mass of the solid is given as 20 kg and it occupies a volume of 4 meter cube. So let's say this is the object and the mass is 20 kg and the volume is given as 4 meter cube and we have to calculate the density. <coughs> so <coughs> let's write down the, the values. Mass is given as uh, 20 kg. Volume is given as 4 meter cube. And <coughs> we can use the formula. Using the formula. <coughs> is equal to mass upon using this formula density is equal to mass upon volume we put the values 20 kg divided by 4 meter cube we use the common factor as 4 so 4 1 the 4 and 4 5 is 20 so we get the remain, remaining 4 kg per meter cube so this is the answer so for the question density of a solid of mass 20 kg if it occupies a volume of 4 meter cube mass is 20 volume is 4 using the formula density is equal to mass upon volume we put the values substitute the values 20 divided by 4 we reduce reduce by factor of 4 4 ones are 4 4 by 20 so we get 5 kg per meter cube as the answer so you can pause the video and you can copy this. <coughs> Next question. Number two, the density of copper is 8.4 gram per centimeter cube. What will be the volume of 200 gram of copper? So here if you read the question carefully, the density of copper is given as 8.4 gram per centimeter cube and the volume of copper is given as 200 grams and sorry, we uh, are saying what will, what will be the volume that means we have to find the volume and the mass of copper is given as 200 grams. So let's write it down uh, in the solution. The density is given as 8.4 grams per centimeter cube. The mass is given as 200 grams. And we have to find the volume. So using the formula, density is equal to mass upon volume. We write substitute the value. This is 8.4 gram per centimeter cube. 8.4 gram per centimeter cube, and the mass is 200 gram divided by volume. So, <coughs> let us cross multiply. Uh, we cross multiply volume, volume, and the density. So we'll have volume is equal to 200 gram divided by 8.4 gram per centimeter cube <coughs> which is equal to 
200 gram into 10 divided by 54 gram per centimeter cube and we are writing 10 here because we are getting rid of the decimal point here so we got rid of the decimal point and and we are dividing by 10 and <coughs> let us rearrange again that is 200 gram into 10 centimeter cube divided by 84 gram so here uh, the centimeter cube we are taking to the taking the numerator <coughs> so let us reduce so, so we take the common factor as 4 <coughs> that is uh, 421 times and 450 times and we will take common factor as g so we will reduce the g so what is left is 50 into 10 that will give us 500 500 divided by 21 centimeter cube and if you do long division and you can find that the volume is 23.8 centimeter cube so once again um, you know the density of copper is given 8.4 gram per centimeter cube what will be the volume you have to find this when the mass is given 200 grams so density is 8.4 mass is 200 volume you have to find using the formula density is mass upon volume we substitute cross multiply and <coughs> uh, 8.4 we write as 8, 84 by 10 <coughs> to get rid of the decimal point and we rearrange the centimeter cube to the denominator <coughs> we use the common factor 4 in g to reduce this to 50 and 21 and we re reduce the g's so we get a fraction of 500 by 21 centimeter cube which we if we do after we do long division we will get 23.8 <coughs> centimeter cube which is the volume of that copper piece pause the video and copy this on the blackboard green board Next question is find the mass of 50 centimeter cube of silver if its density is 10.5 gram per centimeter cube. <coughs> now in this question uh, you have to find the mass and the volume is given as 50 centimeter cube and the density of silver is given as 10.5 uh, gram per centimeter cube so in the solution let us write what is given volume is 50 centimeter cube density is 10.5 gram per centimeter cube mass is something that you defined so using the formula for density you go to mass mass upon volume let's substitute the values this is 10.5 gram per centimeter cube is equal to mass upon 50 centimeter cube now let us cross multiply we will bring 50 centimeter cube across so we get 105 so 10.5 gram per centimeter cube into 50 centimeter cube is equal to the mass let's get rid of the decimal points that is 105 divided by 10 let's rearrange this as gram divided by centimeter cube and Continue writing 50 centimeter cube is equal to the mass. Now our common factors here is centimeter cube. So we can reduce centimeter cube and then common factor is 10. So we can remove the zeros. 
So what we are left with is <coughs> 105 into 5 and grams. So that will give us 525 grams equal to mass, <coughs> giving us the answer of <coughs> mass is equal to 525 grams. So the question says uh, find the mass of 50 centimeter mass mass of 50 centimeter cube of silver if the density is given as 10.5 gram per centimeter cube. Uh, from this question we can deduce that the volume is 50 centimeter cube density is 10.5 gram per centimeter cube we have to find mass density uh, formula is mass upon volume we substitute the values we cross multiply we get rid of decimal point and we use common factor centimeter cube and 10 and we reduce and finally we left over with 105 into 50 grams which gives us 525 grams so the mass of this silver piece <coughs> is 525 grams you can pause the video and <coughs> Copy the further board. Now moving on to the next question. The question is a uh, rectangular. of wood measures 4 cm by 6 cm by 8 cm and has <coughs> a mass <coughs> of 20 grams what is the density of wood so <coughs> we have a rectangular piece of wood whose, <coughs> whose dimensions are 4 cm by 6 cm by 8 so this is 4 cm so 6 cm and by 8 centimeter and it has a mass of 20 grams so you have to find density of this <coughs> so the solution is that the volume is given by the product of the dimensions in this case this is the length this is the length this is the breadth and this is the height <coughs> So length into breadth into height in this case is 4 cm into 6 cm into 8 cm and if you remember this is the volume a formula for the volume of a cuboid that's what the shape is <coughs> so that gives us okay we'll just leave it like that we'll reduce it a little later <coughs> so here we have um, Mass is given as 20 grams and density is equal to question mark. So using the formula, density is equal to mass upon volume. Uh, we can put the values 20 grams divided by 4 centimeter into 6 centimeter into 8 centimeter. Now we use the common factor, we use the common factor for <coughs> so for one the four for five twenty and the remaining values is five grams and this is one into six into eight. Six is a forty-eight. So we get five grams divided by forty-eight and centimeter into centimeter into centimeter will give us centimeter cube. Now after we do long division. 5 divided by 48, you will find that the answer is 0 0.104 gram per centimeter cube. <coughs> so once again, uh, a rectangular piece of wood measures 4 by 6 by 8. So a rectangular piece of wood, 4 by 6 by 8, which is the length, breadth and height. 
and has a mass of 20 grams the mass is 20 grams and you have to find the density of this piece of wood so the solution is you find the volume using the volume for the formula of a cuboid which is length into breadth into height 4 into 6 into 8 and we'll leave it like this for the time being mass is given 20 grams and you have to find density density formula is mass upon volume so this is for um, <coughs> 20 divided by 4 into 6 into 8 so we reduce it by common factor of 4, 4 on the 4, 4 20. So we get 5 grams divided by 6 is a 48. We do long division and we'll find the answer is 0 0.104 gram per centimeter cube. So you can pause the video and copy the solution. Question number 5, calculate the speed of an object if it covers 200 meters in 50 seconds. So, the solution uh, the speed you have to calculate and it covers a distance of 12 meters and time is given as 50 seconds. So let's write it down. Distance is equal to 200 meters. Time is equal to 50 seconds and speed you have to calculate. So using the formula speed is equal to the distance upon time speed uh, the distance is given as 200 meters and the time is given as 50 seconds so using a common factor of 10 so we reduce this using common factor of 5 5 on the 5 5 for 20 so there's nothing left over so this is except 4 meter per second is the speed. So once again, you have to calculate the speed of an object uh, which is covered a distance of 200 meters in 50 seconds. So distance is 200 meters, time is 50 seconds. You have to calculate the speed, which we will use the formula. Speed is the distance upon time. We substitute the values, we reduce by 10 first. We cancel out the zeros. We re reduce by 5, 5 on the 5, 5 is 20. So we are left over with 5, 4 meter divided by second, which is 4 meter per second which is the answer.